Hello Kerbal Nauts, welcome to this SSTO flying tutorial. This is the space plane we'll be using. It's a very simple design, just two jet engines and two air spike rockets. It's mostly a stock design. Uh, only the cockpit comes from the the OPT space plane mod. It's under 30 tons, 69 parts. Um, so let's go to the runway. Okay, here we are in the runway. First, let's just bring all the info we need from MacJib, but you can also use Kerbal Engineer. Basically, you just need something that will give you orbit info and delta V stats, all that. Uh, as you can see, the thrust to weight ratio is. 1.16 for this stage so this means you can actually take off and pretty much do a vertical climb which is what we're going to do because we want to get out of the lower atmosphere as fast as we can because it's kind of thick and causes a lot of drag so you want to get to the middle part of the atmosphere as fast as you can. Sometimes it will not be possible to do such a steep climb if your space plane is heavier than this one. And especially if you don't have a thrust to weight ratio that is greater than one. Uh, but what you want is to be somewhere around 300 meters per second once you get to the middle atmosphere. Remember that jet engines need two things to generate thrust. One is forward speed and the other one is air. In the middle of the atmosphere there's not so much air so you need to be going at least somewhere near transonic speeds for the for the engines to keep generating more and more thrust so if you're not going at least at that speed you will not be able to generate all the thrust you need for the next stage of the flight so also at this point you want to go on a home on, on an almost horizontal path because you want to be going as fast as possible before getting into the into the higher atmosphere where there is very little air and your engines will start to lose thrust really fast um, so yeah you want to keep your pitch somewhere between 5 to 20 degrees but you also have to keep an eye on the altitude and the speed. What you want is that when you get to the higher atmosphere you should be going if possible over 80 sorry um, 800 meters per second because when you get to the higher atmosphere no matter how fast you're going your your air breathing engines will begin to lose thrust and you'll have to activate the rocket engines which will drain your fuel pretty fast so uh, you have to balance your speed and altitude you don't want to go let's say a thousand meters per second when you're still pretty low in the middle atmosphere because you will probably burn up uh, but you also don't want to get too fast to the higher atmosphere or else you will not have enough forward speed and you will have to do the rest of the job with the rocket engines and you'll probably will not have enough fuel to 
to achieve orbital speed. Okay, let's fast forward a little. Uh, as you can see, the speed is still going up. Uh, but at this point, the thrust will start to go down a little. It's still enough for the speed to, to be going up, but at this point, uh, well, the rockets will be needed soon. Now we're in the upper atmosphere. Um, so we turn on the rocket engines, and then you have to pitch up just a little more to... Well, at this point, you really need to worry about your apple apps, um, which, as you can see at this point, is somewhere around um, four forty-nine thousand meters. Uh, but as you can see, the trajectory is still rather flat, which is a good thing because it means we have enough forward spin. When your apoapse is around 60,000 meters, you want to start pitching down again. Uh, because at this point, even if you pitch down, your apoapse will still be going up. And really at this point, forward speed will be more important. Uh, so basically, you want to wait until your apoapse is around 73,000 meters and then when it reaches that height you just shut off your engines um, you're, you're at this point high enough so that the aerodynamic effects will not slow you down and so your apoaps may go down a little but it will still be uh, at a point that is still well, in space basically so let's fast forward again at this point you will be on a nice suborbital path and you just need to do your final circularization burn wait until you're really close to your apoaps to fire up your engines again and because we picked up a lot of speed, a lot of forward speed with the air breathing engines. There's not much work to do for the rocket engines at this point, so uh, shouldn't be too much delta V for the rocket engines to pick up. And you will be on an orbital flight. Okay, let's just fast forward the rest of the flight. We're now in orbit, as you can see, and thanks for watching.